Benji Cole, son of Al Cole from CBS Radio and host of People of Distinction, the talk that gives an in-depth view of some of the most dynamic, intelligent, and successful people on the planet. Run to our website, peopleofdistinction.org, for more info, or you can always email me directly at benji at alcoholenterprises.com. And on the line with us today, we have Argelia Salgado. We're going to be talking to her, really, on behalf of her father's book, James Strode. And we're going to be discussing his fantastic book, Embracing Autism, One Father's Fight for His Wonder Boy, available for purchase through Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or directly through his personal site, jamesestrode.com. There, not only will you find more information on him, you'll find more information on this fantastic book, as well as find hyperlinks set up to take you to the purchasing page. So one more time, that's jamesestrode.com. Guys, and I will say, Arhelia was brought to our network, People of Distinction, today by some of the best movers in the business. You are Link Print and Media Publishing. So if you have a book that you'd like moved, do yourself a favor and contact our great friends over at You Are Link. You can find out more information on them at youarelinkpublishing.com. And guys, listen, it is an absolute pleasure to have Arhelia here on the line. Okay, now as I said, she's going to be speaking on behalf of her late father, James Strode. Now, why I'm so excited to have her here on the line is because... Guys, we know, I I think it's probably very rare nowadays for anyone either, A, to have never met someone uh, with autism or to not have someone in their family with autism. It's become something that has really gotten pushed to the forefront of our awareness in society. It's something that is very common nowadays. And, you know, as the common expression is when we're talking about anybody that has autism, is they're on the spectrum, right? And that term comes from the varying degrees of autism. The way one person has it or is affected by autism can be vastly different from the next. And I'm very much looking forward to the interview because I have friends that have autistic members in their family. So it is something that I'm always looking for more education on how to deal with someone on the spectrum and and how to approach that. Again, because of the fact that it's so varied, it is something that you do want to approach with caution. Um, And I am always looking for furthering my education and furthering my knowledge. And that is exactly what we have here today. Now, keep in mind that this is a memoir. So when James wrote the book, he wrote it from the perspective of him dealing with his autistic child, Jimmy. Now, some of the techniques and the things that worked for him may or may not work for you. Now, the, the value of the book is understanding and really gaining that education And having more knowledge on how to deal with either your child that is autistic or someone else that you encounter that is autistic. So the education is absolutely incredible. And Arhelia is going to be able to articulate all of that much better than I ever could. So without further ado, let's jump right in. First and foremost, Arhelia, welcome to People of Distinction. And thank you so much for being a guest. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you so much for having me. It is such a pleasure and such an honor um, to be able to discuss, um, you know, and share with the world um, on behalf of my father, James Strode, um, his book, Embracing Autism. Absolutely. Well, listen, Arhelia, we, it's truly an honor having you here on the network. And we know that what your dad did was something special. Now, of course, I know it's very it's very special for you and your family because you guys are so close to it, but it's special on a grand scale on a grand scale because of the wisdom that people are going to be able to receive. And at the very least, just having more of an awareness on dealing with someone with autism. So there's so much to be gained here and the pleasure is all ours truly. Now, before we go into the book, Arhelia, let's hold off slightly. Start, please, by giving us some more information and some more background on your father, James. So let me just begin by saying that my father was an extraordinary human, but he was an even better father throughout his life. He was a social worker. He was a professional clown. Um, 
he was a minister. He was a, a English professor to people that were learning English as a second language. And then lastly, he was an author. Um, so throughout his life, he really dedicated himself to helping people. Anyone and any anyone that met him, um, you know, he just instantly made you feel very welcomed. And he was a very loving, very caring, had a very calm demeanor about him. Um, and everything that he learned throughout his lifetime, all those different career paths, um, really gave him the tools. And he discusses this a little bit in his book, um, gave him the tools to help our, our my brother Jimmy um, with his autism. It requires a lot of love, a lot of faith, and a lot of patience. And Jim had more of that than anyone that I've ever met. That is beautiful. And again, I know I said this before, I'm going to say it once more. Our condolences on the passing of your father, but he sound, sounded like he was an amazing individual and an amazing person that really brought so much happiness and love to so many people around him. And you know that is worth celebrating every single day. So what a wonderful individual. And Argelio, without further ado, Embracing Autism, One Father's Fight for His Wonder Boy. Tell us a little bit more about your father's book. So this book is a little bit different than most books, uh, especially regarding autism. Um, This book is just an honest, um, unapologetic story about a father and his journey, um, as well as the family's journey to raising a child with autism. Um, And the perspective that he gives is very different in that, you know, he's not saying, um, oh, well, you should try this, you should try that. Um, And, you know, it's not very scientific. Um, It's more about the feelings, the feelings that you experience as a parent when your child is diagnosed with autism um, and just really the journey of going from that moment of when the diagnosis is given um, to every new obstacle um, that you encounter Um, because as we discussed earlier every child is so different that what may have worked for one child is not necessarily going to work for your child Um, so if you have the love and patience to put in the time to do some research but most importantly to get to know your child you're going to be able to help them live the best quality of life. Um, One of the things that he mentions in the book um, is he says, you are the ex or you are the best person to make decisions about your child's care at school, at home. Um, And it's very easy to feel that the experts know more than you. And sometimes they might make you feel that way. But at the end of the day, when it comes to your child, you are the expert and you know what's best for them. Um, And this book really, I think, gives parents the confidence um, to take that role. Take, you know, as he as he says that um, you're the quarterback Um, and so that you take control and you do you advocate for your child to make sure that he or she gets exactly Um, what is best for um, him or her. Argelia, what I love so much about this and and everything that you're saying, I think as we, as a society, become more and more knowledgeable and more and more aware of autism, getting back to the fact that, again, the common expression that is used when we're talking about someone with autism is they're on the spectrum. So there's so many varying degrees and what I love so much about what you just said is your father did something that wasn't prob- that wasn't very traditional, right? Rather than solely going with the scientific approach, right, or the scientific methods and things that are suggested. Not to say that he completely, you know, disregarded medicine, but he took the time to understand his child, your brother Jimmy. He took the time to really get to know Jimmy. 
And because, again, autism, people on the spectrum, there's so many varying degrees, you don't know. I mean, yeah, you could go to a doctor and the doctor could give you A and B and C, but that doesn't equate to what Jimmy needs. So what your father did and what he had the wherewithal to do was really get to know his son and understand, okay, this is what specifically is going to work for my son. You know, and, and an interesting point that I want to, you know, really touch up on and, and bring up next is the value that it's, that it's really showcased for you and for your, for your other siblings, right? Because I remember we were talking on the pre-screening call, again, since the unfortunate passing of your father, you and your siblings have now had to take over the day-to-day responsibilities of taking care of your brother, Jimmy. And this book that your father had put together has really almost been a, a, a roadmap to success for you guys in dealing with him. Is that correct? Correct. Um, as I mentioned before, you know, we had spent time with Jimmy um, here and there, maybe an hour or two at a time. Um, but now stepping in to provide 24-7 care for him and for our mother um, after the passing of our father um, was, I don't even know how to express it with words. Um, I know that my parents struggled with the diagnosis um, of autism. You know, it was at the time, it was something that wasn't as common um, as it is now. Um, So they didn't really know what they were dealing with. Um, And now um, they've had some time to kind of get to know Jimmy and figure out what works, what doesn't. Um, But for us, it was stepping into a whole new um, world where we had some idea of what to do. Um, But but one of the first things that I did was I went and I read, I reread my father's book. um, And I really took note of things that he mentioned in the book that worked with Jimmy. And I also really just relied on my experience watching um, Jim interact um, with Jimmy. And one of the most important things that works for Jimmy is a smile. And it sounds a little bit crazy, um, but, the, you know, he explains it in the book um, that with Jimmy, he, he likes people that have a very calm demeanor, that are happy, mm-hmm. And if you have that smile on your face, um, he might not be able to fully understand what you're saying, but everyone understands a smile. Of course. Um, and everyone, you can't, when somebody smiles at you, you can't help, you know, but to smile back. Um, and so that's something, you know, something so small, um, but it's truly been important um, with Jimmy um, in helping him kind of transfer your your happy and calm um, energy um, to him. Um, and so, yeah, having that book to rely on, um, not only in terms of what to do, but, you know, just the, the feelings and the emotions, because um, it's, it's not always easy um, taking care of a child with autism. Um, but Jim... Um, He had faith that, you know, this journey had been given to him for a reason. And I find comfort um, in that as well. And um, I also have faith that we are now stepping into this journey for a reason. And one thing that Jim had really strong faith in and he he said this from the beginning and he always said this anytime he was facing um, difficulties in his life is that God never gives you a battle that you cannot handle. So he, he knew that uh, if he was in this position, it was because he, he could handle it. Um, and I have, that that same faith um and he kind of taught us not only while raising us but also through this book um gave us the tools necessary um to now help our brother jimmy 
Again, here on the line with Argelia Salgado. She's speaking on behalf of her late father, James Strode, discussing his fantastic book, Embracing Autism, One Father's Fight for His Wonder Boy. Available for purchase through Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com, or directly through his personal site, JamesEstrode.com. You know, Argelia, next question that I'd love to go into, and really something that I know my listening audience is going to get very upset with me if I don't hurry up and ask. Now, (laughs) as we've mentioned a number of times throughout this interview, the varying degrees of autism, right? Just because one thing works for one person doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work for the next. So, of course, we understand that. We want to keep that in mind. And guys... Always remember, everything that we're discussing is something that is taken directly out of the book, Embracing Autism, that worked for James with his son, Jimmy. But I want to take an opportunity, maybe, and to try to approach such a broad concept. Argelia, any words of wisdom that you'll be able to impart on our listening audience, either A, from a parent's perspective, dealing with a child with autism, um, or B, just from an everyday person's standpoint, dealing with someone that has autism, either that they encounter on the street or someone that they know through mutual acquaintances, uh, any words of wisdom that you'll be able to relate to our listening audience? That's, that's a great question. Yeah, you know, I think the most important thing is to really take the time and get to know that person. Um, and that might be, that might look a little bit different from one person to the next. Um, for example, with Jimmy, he is mostly nonverbal um, at this time. So getting to know him um, takes more observing um, than it does, you know, communicating via words. Um, but if you take that time to just observe and um, see what makes them kind of tick, what makes them smile, Um, what things they enjoy. Um, For example, um, some things that are really important with Jimmy is one, having a smile. Um, He loves tickles. Um, He loves arts and crafts. He loves um, being outdoors. So if you take that time to get to know um, the individual that is on the spectrum, you can learn so much. Like, you know, words aren't always necessary. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you just take the time to observe, um, you'll learn a lot more about an individual um, than you might think. Arhelia, great advice, great words of wisdom. You know, guys, listen, you know what I love so much about this? A couple of things. First and foremost, we're at the end of the interview now. We've discussed so much information Yet we've barely scratched the surface. There's still so much left to be discovered within the confines of the book and learning specifically about James and Jimmy and their journey. I'm going to say it for you all one more time, even though I know I don't have to. Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com, JamesEstrode.com are the places you have to go. Embracing Autism is the title you have to pick up. And James Strode is the author you have to thank for bringing it to your table. So let's grow, let's develop, and let's educate ourselves. Argelia, this has been an absolute pleasure and such an honor. I have thoroughly enjoyed this. The wisdom that you've been able to relay on your father's behalf has been absolutely incredible. And I know that he is very proud of the work that you've done. So once again, thank you for being a guest with us today on People of Distinction. Thank you so much. Um, I had a wonderful experience, and I hope that... You know, other families are able to read this book and maybe not feel so lonely in their journey and that they're able to find some tools that will help help them 